Aren't you aren't you excited, Evan? I don't oh, see man. you excited, dude. Um, I'm gonna be excited as soon as you start playing, baby. There you go. Fishing. Roger in the water. Evan's letting line out. Evan's on, baby. He's running hard. Woo! Hey, he's hot, boy. That's a Chinook. That's a Chinook, baby. All right, guys, we're out here at Buoy 10 today, and I just wanted to go over the setup real quick for you guys. Um, a lot of guys like fishing Delta divers out here at Buoy 10. That's because yeah. of the big, big big waves and heavy tides and like as you can see right now <laughs> big waves and heavy tides this diver will kind of keep your bait on a plane down there whereas if lead your, your your bait would be jumping up and down anyways guys I'm just gonna go over the setup real quick so we got 50 pound main line right here we're going right to our swivel on the diver just like that not very difficult that's what you want to do and then coming off the other end of that diver you got your bead chain your duo snap, your other bead chain, which is kind of unnecessary. You don't really need it like that, but some guys like to run a bumper after that to their triangle flasher, like a short eight inch bumper. I kind of keep it, you know, universal. I run 18 inch bumpers for like a lot of everything. And then I got that down to my triangle flasher. And then from there, we got a four and a half foot leader to red hooks. <laughs> Yeah. Four and a half foot leader to our little mooching rig right here, and this is a sliding rig. And the reason why I have this uh, slip rig on here is so, judging by the size of the bait that we're going to be fishing, whether it be a herring, a whole herring, a cut plug, a, an anchovy, you can run several baits out here. You can just adjust the size of your mooching rig, right? So I run a slip rig. So I'm going to show you how to rig a whole anchovy real quick. So I take my anchovy like that, and you can see it kind of curves this way already. So I'm gonna bend it that way. I'm gonna run this first hook right through the eye. See that, you're running it right through the eye. Gonna pull it through, trying to keep the eyes intact if you can. Just gonna pull that first one through. Let it, let it dangle for a minute. You're gonna take this hook, run it through the underside of the anchovy, right at the tip of the nose, and come out the head, just like that. And then this back hook, you're gonna go right in the side of the skin like that. So there you have that, and then you're gonna, to get your bend, you're gonna take your top, top hook, and you're just gonna bend it, push down on it, just like that. You don't want a crazy bend, but nice little bend like that will do the trick. So, I'm gonna put this in the water and we're gonna see what it looks like. Let your bait out first. Let your triangle flash for a second. Alright, so we're just gonna look at that roll. Oh uh, yeah. You guys see that roll? We're fishing uh, 28 feet, 30 feet. I'm gonna let this one at 20 feet. What's going on? Don't let out too fast. Oh. Yeah, I wish I could. There you go. Thing. Set it and forget it. <laughs> this is your standard buoy 10 setup, guys. 
I like running divers, it keeps it simple.